We'd like to welcome you to Portland, local time. It's 12.17 p.m. You want sashimi? You take that no. big piece. Nah, it's like that. I'll take the okay. small one. No, just take the big one. Oh. All right, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What's up guys, so I'm finally here at Alex's place in Oregon and we're prepping for a one day shoot with a client in Oregon. So essentially I kind of had to bring everything from California over to Oregon and obviously flying with equipment is always a really hard topic. It's one of the things that not a lot of people talk about, especially on how to pack your film equipment so it doesn't get damaged when you arrive on a location. And worse yet, the last thing you want to worry about when you're traveling is losing your equipment. And um, one of the ways you can kind of mitigate that risk is uh, by buying insurance. And for the longest time, even I held off on buying insurance. And insurance is one of those things that, you know, you'll pay into it, but you won't, you'll, you'll never think of like, you want to use it, you know? Um, but when the time does come, you'll be glad that you have it. On a film shoot, you could get robbed, uh, things could get lost, things could get stolen, or things could get mishandled and then you don't know where they went. So the way I see it, if you can't comfortably replace the equipment that you lose or is stolen, then you should probably get insurance. So normally when I travel, I usually use either Pelican cases or suitcases. And this time, one of the reasons why I chose the suitcase was because uh, the starting weight limit of the suitcase that I'm going to show you right now is only 11 pounds. Whereas if I try to check in a bag that's a Pelican, uh, I'm going to be starting more than a base weight of more than 11 pounds. And uh, I wouldn't be able to fit that much stuff even though it's more secure. Um, so I definitely, this time around, I decided to, you know, use a suitcase instead. You just got to make sure that you get a hard shell suitcase so that um, that way your luggage doesn't get flattened and everything inside gets shattered into a million pieces. The suitcase that I currently use is the Samsonite suitcase that I bought from Macy's. And it's a hard shell suitcase. I'm going to show you uh, how I actually packed for uh, transport up to Portland. So um, yeah, let's go. So pretty much when you first start off, you actually want to put the heaviest things on the bottom first. So the first thing I would do when I'm packing my film equipment in the suitcase is I will create cushioning. So I'll actually use my clothes that I'm taking on the trip and lay them all throughout the entire suitcase uh, just to provide cushioning in case it, uh, there's impact and damages uh, by baggage handlers. And then afterwards, I will secure the tripod onto the base of the suitcase, which are held together by two metal rods. I use paracord and I tie them together with my tripod uh, with the clothes on top so that way uh, the tripod will not be flopping around and hitting other things in the bag and potentially breaking stuff. 
I'll wrap the tripod head, and in this case, it's the Sockler Ace XL to kind of provide more cushion. And then afterwards, I'm going to put the Falcon Eyes light mat into the suitcase, and it fits perfectly, along with all the other chargers and accessories that um, are kind of okay to like kind of be thrown around in the suitcase. And then I will package it all up by uh, hooking together the straps that will somewhat hold together the suitcase. This is the checked luggage that I have. Um, I also have other ones like the Pelican 1510. So while my checked bag has all the things that I can't really carry on with me because it's kind of big, my carry-ons is basically where all my expensive stuff is. And these are the things that I don't want to leave in the checked bag for fear of damaging or for fear of not being able to replace it. Um, so these are the valuables that I keep with me. So this is one of them. And then this backpack is a Peak Design backpack and it has all my cameras and drone batteries and anything that has lithium ion that I can't check in.